So here's a quick guide to making your own um, video screencasts or uploading video using the My Media that's built into Languages at Warwick. So you can see here that I'm logged into Languages at Warwick and on my dashboard page what I'm going to do is to scroll down into where I can see uh, the site home and I've expanded that to see My Media. Now My Media is your direct connection to our Kaltura streaming media server. Here you'll see all the media that you have access to, that you've either uploaded yourself or you've created within the courses that you, uh, that you have. And if you want to make a screen capture or you want to upload your own video, you'll need to use this big blue button here. If you click that, you've got a choice of things that you can do. So just to upload a file that you have already, and you don't need to worry about the format of that file, um, any video file or audio file you can upload using Media Upload. You've also got a link into webcam recording. But in fact, if you come in to make a recording, that is um, a way of creating any number of different uh, recording types. So let me just show what happens. The first time you run it, it will ask you to download the Capture Space de desktop recorder. Now that puts a little program onto your machine and once you've, um, once you've done that once, it will automatically uh, find it and start it the next time you come back. So you can see the little box down here. That is what is currently showing me that I'm recording. Once that's um, downloaded the first time you need it, you'll then just be able to get on and use it. So you'll then be able to select um, exactly what type of recording you want to do, whether you want the screen and the microphone or um, just the microphone. Um, or your webcam and your microphone. Having made those choices, you then just hit record when you're ready, have whatever you need on your screen and talk it through just like I'm doing now. And once you've finished, you'll then be asked to give that recording a name and to upload it. And it will then become part of your My Media. From there, you'll be able to use it wherever you wish to um, add it to your course. So this is one central store, but whichever courses you're doing, you can then select and insert that media into them. So I'll give you just a quick example. Um, if you go to one of your courses and um, what you'll do there to add a Kaltura media is simply to either add the media directly to the edit section here the top section if that's what you want to do. So to do that you'll just click edit and here in the HTML editor you'll just use the little Kaltura symbol there, the little wheel, colourful wheel. When you click that again you'll see your media displayed and once your media displays you'll then be able to select it again. So this select button will choose and insert it. So that's one way if you want your video perhaps to be the first uh, thing people see in your week of course uh, of courses but if you want to make it just available as a as a learning activity then create learning activity and of the uh, buttons here the one that you're going to need is the one that says Kaltura video resource uh, and from there you'll be able to add it. You can also use a label if you prefer and then use the Kaltura wheel as I did before but if you've got the Kaltura video resource and click add, that again will get you uh, into your My Media area once you select your media. So the same screen as you've seen before. And you'll select it and embed it and off you go. So very quick and easy to add media to your course using My Media. And the system itself will worry about all the tricky stuff, the um, more complex aspects of, of dealing with your video, making sure it plays back properly on whatever device people are accessing the content.